Yeah, well, after about 15 years of hunting and guiding in northern BC, this last season would have had to have been one of the highlights of my life. Uh, I had the opportunity to go over to Kyrgyzstan to hunt for a subspecies of the Marco Polo called the Humi and some mid-Asian Ibex. A uh, good friend of mine, Brian Martin, and the owner and operator of Asian Mountain Outfitters gave me a call and the uh, chance to come over and do some guiding and some filming, a little bit of hunting for myself. Uh, we started the season out with my own personal Ibex hunt and then went straight from that into a, uh, to a Marco Polo hunt with Vernon Brent. Uh, that hunt started out with a bang. We, we took off right away, got up into one valley and located a group of rams. We actually located two groups of rams, but we located the first group that we were going to go after, which had a really good ram in it. And uh, Vernon Brent drew straws to decide who was going to shoot, even though we kind of had taken a vote and we thought we should have a fight over it instead. But So we wound up, Vern was on the trigger, and uh, so we spent the night in the cabin as the rams were in a position that we could... Uh, that we could stalk them that night and we just didn't have the time as we finished riding up into the valley and located them probably be about three to four hours before dark our camp that we stayed at was probably it'd be roughly about 10,000 10,500 feet so uh the elevation difference was killing us as everyone was used to hunting at about seven yet and less thousand feet and uh yeah we set up in a small shepherd's cabin the next morning, at first light, we, uh, we set the tripods up, put the spawn scopes on top, relocated both groups of rams, actually. Well, last night we spotted a bunch of Marco Polos, so uh, we watched them bed down, and this morning we're up and at it. Hopefully go and get a Marco Polo on the ground. We've seen two really good ones. I think there's about 20 rams total in two different groups, so should be good. Let's get over there and see what we can find. It took us about four hours before we could get up to the ridge due to uh, lack of oxygen on all of our parts. And by the time we made it up to the top, everyone was about ready to have a heart attack. I think I know I was gasping for air. We we peeked over the top and it was, I mean, it was one of the coolest things ever to see. We had a group of rams, which uh, if you've never seen the Marco Polo in person before, is one of the most impressive animals you could ever see. And they were bedded at roughly 300 yards from us, I think actually just under. We got Vern set up behind the rifle, got the camera set up, and uh, gave Vern the go-ahead, and he made a perfect shot right out of the gate. We started the season out great. 